Hello and welcome back to Zoplay's Hand of Fate. This time we will be facing the first boss of the second row. Let's get to it. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? Jack of Plague. The first time we have encountered, as he said, the rats. He's got a curse. The Twice the fail. The player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold for every huge failure chance card. Dealer will be adding challenges, 3 ratman hunting encounters, and 3 angry mob encounters. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and freak and hunt and writhe. Feast and freak? Is that what he said? They freak all over. Yes, recommend. I don't want to see. Let's begin. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. How rude. I was waiting for him to say something, I guess he... It's pretty quiet this time. Uh, let's see, Elf Maiden. I would like... Well... I guess some gold. Since the curse is not friendly sure towards... For that. Not friendly towards gold. So if I can get as much as possible... If I hit any failure chance cards, then... Uh, it won't hurt as bad. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if the wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal, it, um, it's the same stuff that has always been. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Have some food. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha! I know what you need! Mr. Lionel taps the table with his staff and some plump cakes appear in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks whether you'd like cake or pie, tell them you want cake and pie. And one food gain card. I gave him one food and I got ten. Thank you, Lionel. Then, before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Always after my pickled onions. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset. He woke up. Climb down and retrieve the weapon. Choose from these ah, options. That was easy. Success. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. Draw one weapon card. Huge hammer. Man, he really is quiet this time. Huge hammer. As you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increased damage. Press left bumper to unleash a force explosion. I like. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Let's see what is at the shop. 
I believe I need a hammer. Let's see what it puts on me here. Nope, it's not even gonna bother putting anything on me. The uh, animation. I will sell my axe. I need armor. Ooh, shield. I do need this. Is there another shield? I no. cannot expect you to get by without some protection. I'll take the shield and what equip. What do you do with that? Oh, did I already have one? Crap. Oh man, I already had one. Take it back. The goblet that I got last time upgraded my starting gear. So now I'm actually starting out with a shield instead of needing to get one from Lionel. I already got a cool weapon. I do An not item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. Do not have a helm, so I'll take that. Now this artifact could be really helpful. If I hit too many failures and it takes all my gold, I can use this to get gold back. So I will take that and do I want food? Let's just grab one food to replace the one we gave Lionel. Leave. Next. Helpful priest. It amuses me to watch them theorize. To attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Give the priest half your food or decline. I have 25, so... Sure. I want two blessings. I need that huge success. Aw, oh, that's so easy. Too easy. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Okay. Guardian Angel. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. That will come in handy if I hit any failures for sure. Very nice indeed. Treasure Picker. When the player chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. Hit a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. That... that really hurts. Why are you being so mean to me? Hit your ride. My helmet revealed where the exit is. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. New card. Field of Poppies. I have always felt a kinship to the puppy. Together we help you forget and also recall. Sounded like he said kinship to the puppy. A field of puppies would be way more interesting. You wander among the, a field of puppies. Too late. You realize that the puppies are making you sleepy. What? You wake up groggy and disoriented. You completely shuffled the... um. Play space. I guess it's like I'm in a... Again, the surprise attack. 
The novelty must wear thin on subsequent travels. It's like I've been moved off to a new location. A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Six very powerful bandits. I think those red dots are indicating that they are stronger than normal. Thanks to the goblet. Let's do it. Oh, oh, reflect. Get out of here. Force explosion. Oh, he... The, uh... Ranged guy hit me while I was doing force explosion. Reflect. Do it again. No! Too many dudes. Powerful ones. Reflect and hit force explosion. Get over here and take this guy out. Oh, I'm gonna reflect. I killed him with his own projectiles. Oh! He walked right into it. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is more, is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill them. Success. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. Three gain cards. Healing cap. In my day, we simply avoided being wounded. Healing will suffice, however. And... Hmm... I will take healing cap, yes. Three food. And three more food. Next. And <laughs> the stairs. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. Thanks to the field of poppies, the stairs got shuffled much closer. Do I want to go ahead and take them? Now, or do I want to explore the rest of the level? I'm going to go ahead and explore the rest of the level. I hope I get more food, though. This could be where I get that food. Sell my explorer's helmet. Dragon Ring. While all dragon relics are equipped, receive 50% max health and full healing after every combat. I guess it doesn't do anything unless I have the other dragon relics. Hag's Wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. That could be helpful. Hearn's Antlers. Lizard men take double damage from the player's attacks. Plunderer's Cap. When you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one. Hmm. No, no. I'm going to take... Yes, I'm going to take these, uh, hags it's not wraps. not enough that you kill them, you'll curse them too. Yes. Good plan. I can only buy one at a time. I only have enough to buy one. Go up. 
maze of traps. And yes, I want to do it. Will it be the same layout or a new one? Looks new. Yep. I don't trust those bushes. Got stuck on the ledge. No! Looks like a poison dart trap. It was. Is there anything right there? Avoid the bushes. How do I want to do this? Go slowly this way. Dodge! More dodging. More dodging. All the bushes! Be careful of that bush down there. Oh! Just follow it in the path that it is taking. Let's do the same thing with this one. Now how the heck... I guess I gotta, um... Do oh, no! Oh, okay. Gotta dodge, 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 dodge. Go for it! I got hit. No, I didn't. I was just making dodge sounds. Having survived the traps, you loot the chest. Three gain cards. 20 gold, give me some food! 10 gold. An equipment piece. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Yes, actually. Every third encounter does not consume food. Better than just a plain old shield. No, I don't want to go back here. Pass it by. Although I might want to stop there on the way back. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? To buy up some more individual food packages. A winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. One monster card. The dealer draws a monster card and I draw a monster card. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wilder's faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you, or give them all your gold. Well, attack, of course. You shout a battle cry and raise your weapon. Two strong bandits, really strong bandits, and two kind of strong skeletons. Skip, and let's get- oh no, no! Wrong buttons! Force explosion! Reflect! I forgot what- oh, counter! I'm forgetting all my buttons here. Actually, I should do- oh. I should turn on my artifact. Dodge the middle and force explosion. Grab the gold before. Because I don't think I get the gold unless I actually. What the heck was that? He's following me in reverse. Yeah, I don't get that gold because I can't touch it once it's over. The battle is over. Two game cards. Select one. Okay. It said select from two, but I've got that uh, blessing that makes it three instead. Fool's gold. A quick flash of gold, and the bandits will forget themselves. On every weapon ability usage, on every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Every bandit killed nets the player to gold. 
And that is a helmet. Are you sure that's the right oh. approach? No. I didn't want it selected yet. Gain 15 health. Um I guess I might as well put it on since I'm at max health. Where is it? Helmet. Equip that in case I run into some bandits. And it's only on weapon ability, so it's only when I do force explosion. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. You stumble upon a Ratmen hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. Four rats. Slave yep. by name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. Why? Oh, he's, he's got poison ready. Why are they hunting? Why am I on the ship and why are they hunting on the ship? Get out of the way! Force explosion. Do not want to get hit for fear of poison. Ouch. Oh, and the ship's moving. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of ratmen. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. Such as the Pied Piper. I will go ahead and stop here and get some food. Alright, so I got six food from the shop and bought them one at a time. Look at his face. The dealer's annoyed that it's taking me so long. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. I shall. Hush. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? Maybe. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Dead Man's Gorge. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Two skeletons. Skip. Wow. That was quick. You recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three gain cards. Five food. One equipment. Fleet cuffs. Faster is always better. Increases the wearer's movement speed. Or hags wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. I believe I like hags wraps better. Decline. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Three more food. Treasure chest. Open the chest, see what it contains. I'm curious. Me too. While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. Approach. Nope, couldn't follow. Failure, but I can redraw thanks to a blessing. Try this one. <laughs> nope. And all my gold is gone. My my one gold piece. I 
didn't read it, something about I moved forward and there was a click. The room begins to fill with a deadly gas. Attempt to escape the gas. Oh, jeez. Oh, that one's easy. Confirm. You dive through the billing, billowing clouds to reach the other side safely. You approach the treasure chest. The treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Attempt to pry it open. Success. I like this blessing that gives me the option to put it back and shuffle again. After a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Four gain cards. 15 gold, 15 gold, 20 gold, and one armor. Peace. Armor of cold. Caution, adventurer. This armor pulls energy from the world around you. Light defense. Nearby enemies are immediately slowed as the chilling effects of this armor take hold. Effects of this armor take hold. Angel's wing. I'm surprised to see you turning your back on gold. What? What does that have to do with a helmet? I'm looking at a helmet that makes me go faster. Healer's ring. Wealth and health. A recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. Ah, that must be what he meant. No benefit, no benefit if they were already fully healed. I'm gonna go, it's only light armor, but. Careful with that. The effect does not extend inside the armor, but you do have to get it on somehow. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna take it. Oh, I only had light armor to begin with, so doesn't matter. Let's go up. Angry mob. So quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. I agree. As you approach the small town of Witchburn, I wonder what they do there. An angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The rat men have eaten all our food. We're starving. We demand food. Give them half your food. Give them nothing. Try to avoid the crowd. I'm going to give you nothing. It's rude to demand. You try to ask them why they have no food and to explain that they have no reason to attack you. The hungry peasants surround you, even as you try to speak. Oh my goodness. A choice. Select your desire. <laughs> I got it on the first try. You manage to convince them that you are only a hungry vagabond yourself. Reluctantly, they let you pass. Got out of that one. More hunting rat men. They will not let you pass so easily. Prepare yourself. You stumble upon a ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. One monster card. Four rats. So they should be chilled just being near me thanks to my armor. And... I can do force explosions. It won't really do anything because they aren't bandits. A anything special. Force explosion! Oh, he. You jerk. This isn't going too well. Get away from me! Oh, 
Oh, geez, he threw three of them. Reflect. Reflect. Didn't reflect that one, but at least it didn't hit me either. Reflect. Reflect. I'm gonna need a lot of healing after this one. Now force explosion. No! I <laughs> couldn't get force explosion off at all. I'm at half health. As you sigh, uh, you sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop this plague of ratmen. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. Another angry mob. Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, anger follows shortly behind. I'm going to... Try to avoid them this time? You turn about and head away from the crowd. Get him, somebody cries. Run! Uh, this one. Put it back. This one. Oh, jeez. The angry mob swarms around you. Their desperation for food overcomes their fear of your weapon long enough to get away to... Long enough to get what they want. Oh my god. The dealer draws you five pain cards. I lost oh, an equipment. Yeah. I, only, I lost my artifact. Okay. That's... Oh. That's okay. Lost three food. Oh, lost 10 max health. Lost another food. Oh, lost 15 health. Alright. I'm going to travel around the places I have been using up my food in order to heal very slowly. He's watching what I'm doing. Alright, max health at 90. I need to go ahead and find this jack of play. Oh, that might be him. Let's get out of here. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. Jack of plague. Faster and stronger than normal rat men. This beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster, the more damage he sustains. Here is a beast who hates your kind, and has grown fat and evil with that hatred. The Jack of Plague will kill you and suck the marrow from your bones. We play for a token now. Two of them. Let's do it. Reflect. Oh, jeez. He's got poison ready. Reflect that. Too, too many. Reflect. Oh, my goodness. Force. I got him. Reflect it. Just stay calm. Reflect. Oh. Get over here. Cannot see them. Oh my. Smash his face in. 
come on! Please don't die. Alright, got rid of one of them. I can get rid of this one now. Reflect it. Why am I getting hit still? Careful. Would get away from me. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. He just hit his own guy. Alright, he's dead. Nothing left but the Jack of Plague. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Appar apparently I ran through poison. And I've been doing that the whole time. And it's good that I saved him for last because it said he inspires the others around him the more damage he takes. So it's good that I haven't done too much to him. And apparently he tuckers himself out and that's when I need to hit him. Get tired. Get tired. Are you tired yet? He's tired. Force! Oh! Hit him again, and again, and again. He's dead. Yes! I don't have to do it again. Queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. Your prize. For slaughter, your reward. As a reward for defeating my ratman Jack, you receive these new cards. Berserker armor. Scorching zeal. Calling the ratman. King of dust. Devil's Carnival, Ember Town Hero. For defeating my Ratman Jack, I will give you a new challenge. Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting, and Ratman Hunting. Come, play. I do not want to just sit here. Look at the cards you have earned. Now we have enough to begin a real game. Well, you're gonna have to sit there, because I will play again in the next video. See you next time, and thanks for watching.